Oh, hello! I am Peter Thorne, and welcome to the studio. Hey, a couple years ago I did a video for a portable Bose PA system called the L1 Pro 8. It had a sub-module and also kind of a mixer built in and then kind of a long stick array that was the kind of the top-end speakers that spread sound throughout the room in a beautiful fashion. Well, they asked me to check out a new system, and it's even smaller and more portable, so here it is. It's called the S1 Pro Plus, and it is light and more portable than that other one. This thing also has some really, really amazing features like wireless built in so that like you can literally just have an acoustic guitar, let's say, and a microphone. You plug these little wireless modules that pair instantly to the speaker amplifier portion. And that's interesting, I think. There's also full on Bluetooth capabilities so that you can hook up your phone or computer to it really easily. As far as the wireless goes, I was like, that's really cool to be able to plug in, say, an acoustic guitar wirelessly to it. But what happens if you want to maybe plug in an electric guitar into it? You obviously couldn't do that because you wouldn't have your pedals or an amp sound or modeler sound or anything like that because you'd be coming right out of the guitar into the speaker, right? Not so. Apparently, there's an effect loop so that you can actually send your guitar wirelessly into the unit and then loop in your modeler or effects pedals and get the sounds of that coming out of the speaker. So obviously I haven't tried any of this yet because it's still in the box. So I'm going to bust it out and I want to hook it up, try it with acoustic guitar, with electric guitar, maybe with a modeling unit. I'll use my quad cortex, I think, and plug that into it and see if I can integrate this effect loop. And then I'm also going to hook up a microphone to it and try the wireless microphone setup. I want to play tracks through it as well from my phone and see what that sounds like. I almost forgot, it can be battery powered as well. So you simply charge it up with an AC cable. And then if you want to go somewhere where there's no AC, it's got a like really long life battery. I think it's like 10 or 11 hours or something like that built in. So you could actually take it with you to go do like solo gigs out on the beach or something. So it sounds kind of awesome. Let's bust it out of the box and check it out. All right, let's get into it here. Comes with a little quick start guide in the box. That should come in handy today, I think. Let's see here. Oh man. That's pretty cool. It's like super portable and light. It can't weigh more than maybe 15 pounds, something like that. I'll have to check the spec on the weight, but yeah, it's really light. So it's designed to just sit and kind of tilt back or you can put it straight if you want. And all the ins and outs and the mixer controls and stuff like that are on the side of the unit. Now you can also control a lot of things via Bluetooth. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit, but I think they've designed it so that basically everything you need to do is kind of right there. I'm always worried about taking this plastic off of things. <laughs> People that know me will tell you I'm really weird that way. I'll leave it on things for a long time. I had a Fender bass that I left it on the pick guard for like 15 years. <laughs> if we open these up here, Inside these are the little wireless. Oh no, I think they're actually in the box. So I gotta find the wireless modules because this is where they dock into the unit. So they're probably in the box. This is the quarter inch jack one. So this is for, you know, to plug your guitar in. And it's like a little mini wireless transmitter. So if I've got this right, you just open up this little port here and then you're gonna take this, push it in there and it's gonna dock right into the side of the unit. And here's the other one. So this one's got a XLR uh, female style connector on it. And this can be used um, for either a microphone, so you'd plug it right into the end of like a 57 or a 58 or whatever you got, something like that. Or you could actually plug this in to something that's line level, the output of say, something with an XLR out, like a, a keyboard or a, maybe a modeler unit that's got an XLR out. And then you can switch uh, the transmitter between mic and line level. There you go. Got our AC cable here. We're gonna plug this in, and then we're gonna let this charge up for a while, which will also charge, I assume, the wireless transmitters. Okay, so when I power it up, you'll see the lights come on here, and um, these are uh, displays for all three channels. And then I believe that little battery indicator, once it's fully charged, maybe disappears. Um, so I'm gonna leave it plugged in for a little while and let the battery charge up and just try it. Uh, I'm so curious, like, you know, trying it uh, with no AC plugged in. All right, I gotta pair it up. Who's that guy? Do you ever listen to stuff that you did and sometimes you're like, oh yeah, that song. Yeah, that was a lot of work. I remember that. Anyway, 
got it paired up the phone. There's two different Bluetooth settings there on my phone that is labeled Bose S1 Pro Plus and LE Bose S1 Pro Plus. I had to connect to both of those in order to control the unit. So you can control various functions and do presets and stuff like that, I think, um, on the app. And then the audio streaming is a different connection. So just one good thing to note, if you get one, don't get confused by that. It took me just a couple minutes to figure out, but there's two different things there that are enabled. The Bose S1 Pro Plus and the LE Bose S1 Pro Plus are both connected via Bluetooth in my phone. Okay, so now I wanna hook some stuff up to this and see how it sounds. I wanna get an acoustic guitar, I wanna get a microphone, I wanna get, um, once again, my modeling unit and hook it all up and see how it sounds through the speaker. All right, so the first thing I hooked up is my PT-15 amp, because it's real easy. I can just plug the guitar right into the amp, come out of the load box output that's already got speaker simulation on it, and go right into the speaker, and it sounds really good. <laughs> So for this tone, I might just, I'm already tweaking the tone, I might just get into the app here and just get into the bass and pull that down a notch. And that sounds great. I just pulled it down like one notch. I want to try a bunch of different stuff, like maybe um, my Neural DSP uh, Quad Cortex. I want to plug that into it and see what that sounds like. First thing I want to try is actually the wireless thing. So I'm going to plug in the wireless transmitter into the guitar and then use the effect loop coming out of the unit to patch in and then get the sound back out into the speaker. So I have just the thing for that. It's a TRS on this end, splitting out to two quarter inch right here. This adapter should work, I think. I pulled the wireless transmitter out of the S1, plugged it into my guitar, and I hooked up the effect loop to the amp, and... I'm fully wireless, playing through the speaker. Okay, so I got my phone here and I got it, uh, it's just almost out of juice, so I got it plugged into power, but I got a jam track up and it's Bluetoothed up to the speaker, and I'm just gonna jam along to a track off my last record. So you're just hearing a microphone in the room right now. This is the way the speaker sounds in the room, and I've got it turned up to a good, kind of moderate volume. Let's see if I can pull this one off. This is Dirty Town from my last solo record. kind of concludes my electric testing. I mean, it sounds great uh, coming out of my Quad Cortex as well as coming out of my PT-15's, uh, you know, speaker simulated output. And with tracks coming out of it, if you want to, you know, jam along to tracks, it sounds just awesome. I could see using it as well, like maybe if I was the, you know, in a gig where I had only in-ears and I was using a modeler or something, but I still wanted a little bit of volume on stage. It's no slouch as far as volume goes. I mean, you could, on a moderate volume gig, I would think, use it as your primary on-stage monitor. So anyways, total success using it with, you know, tracks and electric guitar and jamming along. Not to mention the wireless thing. I mean, that's super fun and useful.
So I think I'm gonna hook up an acoustic guitar now and get a microphone and plug that in and try the, the kind of, you know, fool on the stool acoustic guitar style, you know, for single or duo gigs or playing out at, you know, small to medium functions. This thing could be great. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I think I've covered most of the features about this and demonstrated it in a bunch of different ways and different ways you can use it. Just to be clear, there's three channels here, but it's almost actually like having four. You got the two channels that have the wireless integration as well as each of those two channels have a, a combo quarter inch and XLR jack on them if you just wanna plug in traditionally. And then on channel three, this is the one that you can Bluetooth up to. This channel also actually has a quarter inch aux in as well as an eighth inch aux in. You can use that aux in if you want to simultaneously with the Bluetooth. So it's kind of almost like you've got four separate discrete inputs if you count the Bluetooth as one as well. So if you've got a friend with a keyboard or a bass player or something like that, they can plug into that channel three while you're also pumping tracks or something uh, in via Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put all the uh, pertinent links to the Bose website so that you can get more info about the S1 Pro Plus wireless PA system. This thing's awesome. I had so much fun with this and I can think of a, a ton of different uses for this. It's just a super practical thing. And yeah, I, I'm definitely like really impressed with it. Great job, Bose. All right, you guys, please come back and see me for more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care, over and out.